you know, whenever I like teaching about uh, projectiles, I always think about how you have to keep the Y and X separate. So this old 90s song always comes back into my head. So I didn't think that Mr. Britton would listen to music like this, but it was sick. You gotta keep them separated. There you go. So it was a, I think it was actually a hit song in the, in the 90s, but it's about like, you know, keeping kids from different gangs separate in high school so they don't beat each other up and go to jail and hurt each other. So there you go. Real life stuff. So it's really the key for these problems. Like, you know, you have to kind of keep horizontal and vertical separate and do one thing at a time. So, you know, back to this, uh, this tennis question here, which there's the answers to it, just so you can check. So, you know, if you need some help with this, um, if you're like, Oh, I didn't get that. Especially, I think that these are the, this is the harder part of this, but the 12 meters is key. That's a horizontal distance. And so you want to certainly figure out based on this launch velocity, which is horizontal for parts A and B, um, you know, given that distance away, you can find the time pretty easily that it reaches that horizontal position. So the whole keep them separated thing is sort of like, you know, the T-chart thing, you're doing vertical separate from horizontal. And in this problem, they give you, they do give you some vertical information, but I would say that it's easier to actually approach it horizontally, find the time that the ball is at the net, and then go back and use, say, this equation to figure out where it is vertically so you can relate the ball's position to the top of the net, right? And for part C and D, they just throw a little bit, I don't want to say a curve, but they throw an angle at you where they've now launching it slightly downward. So like I said in the other video, that's not going to make a big difference. This, at five degrees, this component is almost as big as the hypotenuse, so it's not going to make a noticeable difference there, but it does make a difference in the problem. You can see it doesn't make it over the net. Um, and so you have to treat this like an angle problem where you find this. And so I would still do that that 23.6 times uh, cosine of 5 and then to find the vertical part, right, uh, cos uh, excuse me, 23.6 times sine of 5 degrees. And that's your initial negative downward velocity. So you're going to be, again, using this equation for that. Um, let's go back and retry it. If, you know, I, I'm hoping that you're not doing this uh, Wednesday night late. Um, I didn't talk about this very much in the previous video, so I'm going to talk about this one now. Um, and I think the thing to do is to draw your own picture and realize what's going on here. This wall height, not the wall height, but the, the launch height is one meter up. So drawing a picture, it helps that I've got this image of what's in the book, right? But that's one meter up and uh, it is caught at the same height. So it's symmetrical. Uh, so it passes the top of the wall here. So this is at one second has gone by when it's there. And then uh, down past the top of the wall, four seconds later. So, so that you have to be careful here because this is four seconds after the one second. So the total time elapsed is five seconds here, which means you know the whole flight itself is six seconds, which means it reaches the maximum height at three seconds, like that other problem we did today, right? And that helps a lot because now you you have the ability to figure out the initial vertical velocity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And, and things will be a lot easier since we've got this total time and we've got the also this horizontal distance here we can figure out the horizontal component of velocity so that we can figure out all this other stuff I think so hopefully that gets you unstuck on that one and uh, don't forget keep them separated okay okay actually let's go out on the song right I'm gonna fade out on this song here